Hello YouTube, welcome back. Some of you already probably know, okay it depends when I post this video though, but some of you might already know that this household has not had internet for the past three days. A hurricane came through and tore up the east coast, basically. So we're still, we're still, we're, we're hanging in there, but that's been good. That's been good for me. <laughs> Or at least that hasn't been a bad thing because I've been reading a lot more. I'm making more progress with the Sealy Challenge. I'm almost caught up. These are the books I've been working through. Am I holding them upside down? Probably. Um, the other ones I've already read. I'm working on Bluettes right now, which has been actually really, really good. And I'm so sad that I just abandoned it right after I got it in high school. Um, not on purpose, I just got busy, I guess, but anyway, uh, that's not the point of this video. Today, I am here to bring you some book recommendations. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did we? Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be recommending some books that deal with mixed race in varying ways, but... The main distinction is that they are not Eleanor and Park. <laughs> okay, yeah, a little bit of a forward on that. I know I got some backlash on that video. Um, I got a lot of support though, so thank you for that. Thank you for understanding my perspective. Um, most of the backlash was just because I hadn't actually read the book, which, totally fair. Um, I was mostly just quoting what other people were saying though on Twitter, but totally fair that um, my opinion might not be the most credible because I hadn't actually read the book. However, I just didn't really want to read a book that I would personally find harmful and offensive, and I hope that you can respect my decision. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have read a bunch of other books that discuss people being mixed race um, to some extent or other. I've read all of the books on this list except for one of them, which I'll put at the very end just as a I've heard this book is good, like, I haven't read it though, um, kind of a thing. But other than that, I have read all these books at some point in my life. It might have been a while though, so I can't fully promise that they're perfect books and that they deal with, um, mixed racedness completely unproblematically. I feel like times change really fast, so especially for some of these older books, I would maybe preface it with a little bit of a content warning, but I think in any case, all the recommendations I'll be making today deal with it a lot better than Rainbow Rowell did. So, um, low bar, I know, but okay, so let's get into it. The first book is behind me. It is called Caucasia by Danzy Senna. I never know how to hold books like naturally. I just feel like I'm kind of, okay, rewind. We can take, th take that out of the video. Reminder to future self, take that out of the video. So this book I read sophomore year. I was in a seminar about mixed race art and politics. This is not an academic book though. This is definitely a novel. Um, it follows these two sisters who are both mixed race, but they both have very different physical signifiers of their race. Races? Yeah, races. Let's read a bit of the book description. Birdie and Cole are the daughters of a black father and a white mother, intellectuals and activists in the civil rights movement in 1970s Boston. The sisters are so close that they have created a private language. Yet to the outside world, they can't be sisters. Birdie appears to be white, while Cole is dark enough to fit in with the other kids at the Afrocentric school they attend. For Birdie, Cole is a mirror in which she can see her own blackness. Ooh, ooh, oh. <sighs> wow, okay, I definitely forgot just how gut-wrenching this book is. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind before you read it. It's definitely one of like the classics when it comes to books on mixed race. Like, I think if you google like books on mixed race, this will be the first book that comes up. Uh, so yeah, my recommendation isn't too revolutionary. Everyone's been talking about this book for a long time. Next up, we have this other book that's right behind me. 
half and half. Now this is not a novel, but it's also not academic. It is a book of personal essays by writers who are biracial and bicultural. What bicultural is, which I had to learn when I read this, for the first time, also sophomore year, also as part of that seminar. So my understanding of bicultural is that your parents raised you with their culture, but you're also feeling pressure to assimilate into the culture of the country you're growing up in, while being biracial is your parents are of different races. This book was pretty good um, in that there's a very wide array of experiences that it covers because each essay is by a different writer. However, um, some of the essays obviously I felt a more personal connection to compared to others, but it's not chronological so you can just pick and choose whichever essays you personally want to read. And yeah, so that's my second recommendation. Alright, so next up we're gonna have I think two books, yeah, two books that you may have already seen in my books I rated five stars on Goodreads video, um, but also deal with mixed race and maybe that's why I rated them five stars. <laughs> so the first one I read from a library copy, so I don't have it with me here, but I'll put in an image. It's called What We Lose by Cindy Clemens. It's autofiction, so it kind of doesn't really have the traditional narrative structure that you would expect out of a novel. It follows a woman whose mother is black and was raised in South Africa, and her father is white and raised in America. The book is about her caring for her mother, and she's kind of retracing her family's history. I loved this book so much, and okay, the next book I also would recommend equally as strongly, but out of this entire list, I think What We Lose and the next one, Know My Name, are definitely the ones I'd recommend most. Okay, so then Know My Name is a book that doesn't directly deal with um, mixed raceness, but for those of you who don't know, Chanel Miller's mother is Chinese American and her father is white, and she definitely goes into how race played a role in her case against Brock Turner, and even just like how it shaped her experience growing up in Palo Alto. I think that book is so important to read and I'm including it on this list so that more people will be aware of it. Alright, so next up is a book called Passing by Nella Larson. It is the oldest book on this list, I believe. I also borrowed this copy from the library so I don't have it, but I'll put a photo up here. It's definitely kind of a contemporary classic, and it's basically about these two women who are pretty light-skinned, pretty white passing. One of them does pass for white and the other one kind of judges her for it, but then the one passing for white tries to convince the other one to also pass for white, but then in the whole process the one who originally passed for white is like all like regretful and like reminiscent about like the black heritage that she grew up with and it's a very complicated book. I found it particularly helpful in educating myself about these complex issues and histories, especially because it's set in New York City. Alright, so this next book is a little bit of a curveball because it doesn't actually have any characters who are mixed race in it, I believe. I'm actually not done with the book yet, but I'm pretty close to being done and I love it so far, so I thought I'd include it on this list. It's Days of Distraction by Alexandra Chang. So yeah, it's it doesn't have mixed race characters in it, but the central relationship is interracial and the protagonist, who is Chinese American, definitely goes into all the racial tension within her interracial relationship and also their families. And there is also a little bit of a discussion about like if they were to have children, what would that be like? Stuff like that. So I think this book is a really sensitive and well done exploration of what it's like being inside of an interracial relationship. That's a mouthful. And that is the last book on the list of books that I've read and am recommending. Just as a final addendum, I have heard wonderful things about Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. I personally haven't read it yet, but I really, really do want to read it, and especially because it's set 
outside of the US. It's about his childhood growing up in apartheid South Africa and yeah so I just wanted to add that there as a final suggestion in case you've somehow already read all of the books um, before this one on this list but no uh yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope that this was helpful and definitely let me know down below if there's any books about mixed race people, relationships that you've enjoyed because I'd love to check them out. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!